Number one is Mo Donegal by Uncle Mo. And they're off in the Remsen. As they come out for the finish, and it's going to be tight here in the Remsen. Mo Donegal. Mo Donegal bearing down on the outside. It's Mo Donegal at early voting, and it is Mo Donegal to win the Wood Memorial. And it will be Mo Donegal to win the Test of the Champion, the Belmont Stakes. Hello everybody, Mike Welch, coming to you from the Oklahoma training track at Saratoga, where not all, but the majority of the relevant Belmont Stakes action took place on a busy morning here, Saturday morning at Saratoga. I'm here with the Daily Racing Forum Belmont Stakes Clocker Report, brought to you by Spendthrift Farm, the home of 2022 Belmont Stakes winner Mo Donegal, who joined Nyquick as classic winners, our classic winning sons of leading sire, Uncle Mo. Well, six of the potential uh, uh, Derby star, uh, Belmont starters worked over here at Oklahoma. We had one on the main track. I'm going to run them down in pretty much chronological order. It started real early, uh, a little after 5.30. Actually, at 5.30, Torpedo Anna, who is still, or at the time, was still listed as a probable Belmont starter, was the first to go this morning. It looks like now she's more likely to go into the acorn, barring anything uh, happening during the course of the week. So we'll start with the uh, definite Belmont horses, and that was uh, her stablemate, Mystic Dan, who came right out a couple of minutes later. He worked in company. And, and just to comment about the overall the works today, I don't think any of them really going to move the needle as far as your handicapping uh, this year's Belmont. You see a lot of that in the final works for the Derby. Not as much for the Belmont, and not as much uh, for sure from what I saw here today. But we'll start with Mystic Dan, and he worked five eighths of a mile in company uh, with stablemate Ghoul's goal, and he was best of the team. He was clear at the wire, uh, went uh, five eighths in 101 and two, 24 and three for the final quarter. I might also add that I thought uh, the Oklahoma track was on the dullish side today throughout the morning. We did have a couple of fast works uh, scattered about uh, during the morning, uh, most of them after the first renovation break. Certainly uh, early this morning when Mystic Dan worked, I thought the track was uh, really on the sluggish side. And it was really a maintenance-like move. Uh, this horse has had, had two races in two weeks. He ran into Derby, he ran into the Preakness. Fitness is not an issue. So just getting to stretch those legs, five, and a, uh, five furlongs today for trainer Kenny McPeak. The bulk of the action took place after that first renovation uh, break, after the Harrows had a chance to uh, work the track a little bit. I thought it was a little bit quicker at that time. First worker right away was uh, Door Knock, went in company with Rambling Wreck, went a little quick early, got a little bit tired late, went 23 and 2, uh, the team for their opening quarter. Uh, completed the half in 48 and 2, Rambling, uh, Door Knock down near the inside, wearing those blinkers, a little bit in front at the wire. Galloped out, okay, 102 and two. Actually went a full three quarters in 116. Again, uh, more maintenance, like probably a little faster early uh, than trainer Danny Gargan would have liked. The big team of the morning, uh, the Todd Pletcher pair of protective and the undefeated mind frame. They worked in company right behind door knock. They won a half mile in uh, 49 and four, their last quarter in 24 and two. And mind frame, definitely best of this team on the gallop out. Uh, was going clear in 102 and 4 for 5 ace, continued out 115 and 1 and went uh, all the way back to the 5 ace pole. Had him 7 ace in 128.51, far in front of protective. So, of all the uh, Belmont workers today, maybe Mind Frame would get the number one star uh, just for the gallop out alone. Now, look, this horse has only had two starts, so I could see where Todd. Uh, going a mile and a quarter with him for the first time might have wanted him to do a little bit more, and he was a very good today. Right behind that team came uh, Sierra Leone, again with his regular workmate, Domestic Product, again with blinkers on, again working nearest the rail, an easy half for them as well, 25, 49, and 2. Average again these final quarters, they're going easy, they're in maintenance mode, 24 and 2 for the final quarter. And Sierra Leone galloped out well, as he usually does, uh, 102 and 2 up 115 while holding a slight edge over domestic product uh, to the wire and throughout on the gallop out. At 9.30 over here in Oklahoma, we had Antiquarian. Uh, our first look here at Antiquarian worked in company with another three-year-old, a maiden winner for Todd Pletcher's bond, BU. And Antiquarian was best of the team. I thought he went well. Same thing, 24 and change, 49 and two from, uh, on my watch for the half. Galloped out nicely, 102 and two. 
and three quarters in uh, 114 and chain. So I think, I think Todd had to be pleased with that, the way he galloped out. This is an improving horse. I think he can be a big factor in the race. Uh, he's going to have Johnny V aboard him for the first time. Irad Ortiz, who worked him last week, will ride, will ride mind frame. So a good morning as well for Antiquarian. Over on the main track, one worker today, also for Chad Brown. Uh, Sierra Leone worked over here. He brought Tuscan Gold over to the main track. Uh, the significant news there, blinkers on for Tuscan Gold this morning for his work. Work nearest the rail uh, in company, went 24 and 1, 48 and 2. Galloped out again, okay, 101 and 2, 114 and change. Now, the main track has been playing a lot faster over the last couple of weeks here uh, than the training track has. So you got to take that into consideration when you're noting the times of these works. He also, though, did bear out a little bit, came off the rail. Uh, finished out well off the rail, carried his stable made out on the gallop out into the clubhouse turn. Torpedo Anna, as I mentioned, probably now uh, going to be for sure in the acorn, uh, barring anything uh, tra transpiring with Mystic Dan that would keep him from running in the Belmont. Same thing for her this morning. First worker on the track, 5 A's, 37 1, 101 and 4. Again, another 24 and change final quarter. Galloped out best nearest the rail in 1, 15, and 3. So that was the Belmont action here at Churchill Downs, Anna Marie, uh, four furlongs in 48 and 2. Uh, he'll get on a van, I believe, tomorrow, be here on Monday. The wine steward also worked there. Not sure if he's heading to the Belmont or is going to be rerouted to the Woody Stevens. We'll wait uh, for entries to be drawn for those races. Uh, over the coming weekend. So uh, that's about it now. All the Belmont uh, horses have had their major work uh, except Resilience. He may go tomorrow, may go Monday. Uh, trainer Bill Mott's uh, been playing that one a little close to the vest, but it looks like he's definitely back in the Belmont picture. Whether the uh, declaration of uh, fierceness had anything to do with that, I, I'm not sure. But I think after rethinking, looking at the starting lineup, uh, Bill a little bit worried that a mile and a quarter, a bit beyond Resilience's uh, range, but I think he's willing to give him a second chance. It sounds like he'll be heading that way now. He'll have uh, Junior Alvarado aboard on Belmont Day. Junior is uh, on vacation this week, so he will not work him as he did last week, but I think Resilience is heading to the Belmont as well. So uh, that, that's where we stand right now. Still have another week to go. Entries will be drawn on Monday for the Belmont and also the Met Mile. The rest of the card will be drawn on Sunday. So uh, you'll read all about that from Dave Grenning over the next couple of days. And I'm going to be right here uh, with the uh, Belmont Clock Report right straight through uh, the remainder of the week. So uh, don't go away. Leave it right here. DRF.com for the best coverage anywhere of Belmont at Saratoga 2024.